Good evening YouTube. Today we're gonna have a look at this sound. So basically a squelchy, screaming cat type of sound. Don't even know how to describe it. So anyway, let's move this MIDI track over here. And we're going to use the new synth from uh, Matt Taito uh, called Vital for this one. And we're going to start off by making a simple squelch by adding a bandpass, make it a 24 dB. We're going to take LFO1, map it to the filter cutoff over here, and let's map this one to the pitch, see how it sounds. So nothing out of the ordinary. Let's make a different shape, like so. And we want the filter to go in the opposite direction. But we need to make it bipolar, same here. Yeah, super cool. Um, let's do it like so. Then we're going to use one of these warping algorithms and we're going to go for the phase disperse. Awesome. <clears throat> As for the effects, let's take a compressor. Then let's go for an EQ. Get rid of some lows. Then we're going to have another LFO. Dial back the face dispersion a little bit. I'm gonna map it over here. Make it bipolar. Um, sorry, we're gonna make it a triangle like this. Switch this to seconds. Dial it back so it's kind of a starts at a slow rate. Then we're gonna have another LFO. Now dial up the tempo. I think four bars will be fine. Map LFO3 to LFO2 rate. Dial back the depth a little bit. stereo so what we want to do is we right click on this little purple thing over here go for make stereo nice 
Now, um, let's add some delay and reverb. Make it mid ping pong. Dial back the filter a little bit so we don't get the whole frequency spectrum. Maybe some reverb. Nice. And lastly, let's go for the formant over here. And I'm going to map this to the... I'm going to make it bipolar as well. So yeah, that's a basic uh, face dispersed squelch made in Vital. Um, I really love this VST. It's very versatile and for Serum users. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, please check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. It's for free as well. So there's no reason to not get it. Um, there's a lot you can do with this. Let's, for example, take our trusty Rhythmerizer from Jump Street and let's dial up the random length and some probability on the 1 over 8 <clears throat> and what we can do is if we go here to our LFOs we can go to sync because by default it's set to trigger mode but uh, if we go to sync it's going to be um, it's not going to reset itself every time you hit a note so <laughs> So yeah, you can basically play little sequences and such. Maybe you can add a note on random on the um, format, maybe. So yeah, you can go nuts with it. Um, that was about it. Thanks for watching.